Ebony Butterfly, also known as Felicia, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. If you are new, if you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. Um, this video is about me decorating my tree this year. Y'all, you're going to have to forgive my voice. I've been under the weather, but I wanted to go ahead and give you this content as soon as I could. Well, <clears throat> I'm battling a cold right now, so I do apologize for my raspy voice. But... This year we decorated our tree the day after Thanksgiving as we always do. So I wanted to record that to share with you guys all that we were able to do this year. Um, two things. The first thing is I have an old tree. My tree is 15 years old guys. So we've been having this tree for a very long time. The second thing, the tree is pre-lit. So it's not pre-lit at all, like no lights at all. I have to add all the lights. So it is a big deal for us to um, put the tree up every year. So my husband and son, I show them putting the tree up and then I'll just show you clips of me decorating and the steps and the ornaments and stuff. But this year I was dead set on not purchasing anything for my tree because I already have so many ornaments. So I did end up having to purchase some black ornaments because I did not have any and I purchased a couple of white ornaments. But all of the pigs and all of the ornaments are ornaments, ornaments that I've already had. And I did get a good deal on some ribbon from Michael's after Halloween y'all. I knew my what my colors were during Halloween so I bought my ribbon after Halloween for 75% off and it's black and white so go figure. But thank you guys for watching. Please like because it helps me out. Please subscribe if you're not already and press the notification button if this is the type of content that you enjoy watching and stay tuned because I have more videos to come. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Yeah, so if you're looking to add dimension and to 
make your tree look a little bit more high end, I always say add more picks. Ornaments play such a big part in trimming your tree. Um, of course, my color scheme is red, black, and white, and these are the ornaments predominantly that I use. I do have a couple of special ornaments, but not very many. For the most part, you will see these. Um, also, when I hang my ornaments, I use green hangers because my tree is green and I kind of want it to blend in. So you don't really, you're not really looking at the wire, and they're pretty standard, so you can find these anywhere. My ornaments, I got these a few years ago from Target. I have no idea where I got these. They're so old. The black I purchased this year from Walmart because I had no black ornaments. Um, this ornament I made two years ago. Basically, it's a Dollar Tree clear bulb with Target's snow inside. This one is from Ross. I got this a few years ago. And the two at the bottom I got from the Dollar General. And they both cost under a dollar. This is a red snowflake. And this is Joy. So this is what I'll be putting on my tree this year. Okay, the way that I do ribbon, I'm moving closer so you can see is I push it back as far as I can and I get a very back branch and I tie it down and I pull it out and I pull it back in. So it's very simple. Um, this one I also got from Michaels as well. And at the end when I'm done, if I do two loops or three loops, I always finish it with the fishtail, as you can see, and I always curl it. That's the way I like it. Like I said, there are a thousand ways to do this, and I always use wired ribbon. The same for layering. This one, I just layer. I simply took a plain red burlapy ribbon and laid a different stripe ribbon on the side. And that's it. The same concept. I pushed it all the way back and pulled it out. So you have the same concept here with stripes. Hey guys, this is the final result of my tree all put together. I will have pictures at the end. The um, topper is a bow that I made and the bottom is has a tree collar which I got from Walmart um, last year after Christmas. It was I think six dollars. Please like and subscribe and I will have detailed pictures to follow this video and leave a comment and let me know what you think or just say hi. I read all of my comments. I would love to have you and I would love for you to become a subscriber. So thanks for watching and have a great day.